Alright guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Androids World here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new HTC Clay Re-X3 mix of Super CSDI version 4. Now I hope I got that name right, if not, I'll show you the file when we actually get to flashing this on our phone. But this is by far the best ROM out there, and I say that because Super CSDI, as you guys know, is the video I put of the absolute fastest ROM ever. This is just a remix themed version of it, which definitely makes it better. So here's the lock screen. Um, it's just the black transparent lock screen and the new notification bar. And then here we are in the actual application. Now I haven't done too much with this because I was just running the re-remix and I just updated to this. Figured I'd get this video to you guys as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. First thing is this new launcher down here um, with the page dots. So we can just tap on that and navigate through. You can also long press them to actually flick through your pages that way which is a pretty cool little feature. And then you have this cool little launcher that you just tap on and it instantly opens up your app drawer which is a four row app drawer. And this is my favorite launcher I've ever used because it's just the quickest and easiest to use. To get it like that, again, I'll show you that tap menu and go to ADW settings. You can see how fast this ROM is even without the 10 megabyte RAM hack. You have desktop screens, that's how you select the number of desktop screens to use. And then you have default screen which I have set in the middle. Now it actually comes stock with five, but then it gets the stock screen to number one, which is the screen all the way to the left. So I changed that to three. When you get it, it'll actually have animated drawer checked. So I unchecked that and I kept fast drawer on, and that's how I got this launcher that just works so fast and has really smooth scrolling, like so. And that's how I got this launcher to work. Um, so one of the huge, huge downfalls of this ROM is that it's the stock 1.6 or 1.5 cupcake or donut brow browser so it, it's just really old no pinch to zoom no double tap zooming no anything like that so if that's something that just takes this ROM's I guess appeal away from you then I don't recommend this for you um, for me this is the best ROM I could flash because of the speed also changed is that bubble is now gone and traded in for that orange highlight mask which personally I I wish it was still the bubble but um, I don't really use the trackball too much on the home screen so it's not too much of a downfall for me. Also, HTC upgraded the notification bar. So right there, the battery now has those green notches that he almost always uses. And when you pull it down, it stays black, it turns transparent, and you have that pull-down bar that now reaches the very bottom of the phone like Super CSDI originally didn't. The speed of this ROM is really ridiculous. You can see, without the 10 megabyte RAM hack, this thing benchmarks and even seems to go way faster than any Super D, any fast test, any other ROM out there right now. And I'm really, really amazed with the speed this has to offer me. I'll just go ahead and jump into settings real fast. You can see again how fast this is. And we'll go ahead and jump into about phone. And I'll show you guys this is still Super CSDI version 4 by Super at Tmail, but it is remixed by HTC Clay. Um, which also lets you guys know that the pop ups and everything are black. And it's still kind of blue schemed in a lot of different places. So if I go back to the home of the Android market, again, you can see how quick this ROM is. There's the blue and the blue stars and everything like that. So it is still very loosely based off of the color blue. Another thing, guys, is it does not come with the clock desktop clock application. It comes with alarm clock. So if you guys like that clock app, again, this might be something bad for you. You'll, you'll be able to adjust, but for now, you don't have it. You also have calculator, and this is the new calculator, the latest, greatest calculator there is. Um, you also get this application called Cube, which honestly it doesn't really serve any functionality. It's just kind of there for show and tell. Uh, you can shake it, um, which sometimes work. There you go. The Cube, you can shake it. You can spin it with your fingers. And it's just kind of a cool way to look through your media. Like if I go to music right there and tap on it, then here you go. And it takes me into the music player. And if I jump back, and I'll go back into Cube. See now the music is playing and this is a good opportunity to show you guys that it is not the latest music app and it actually is themed right there. So that's also something to keep in mind. You see the Android cover art is that. So that is also new. And there was the cube. And you see if I can go back to the music right there and tap on it. I can actually flick through my music right from here and you can do the same with your photos and videos. 
So I don't really use that. It's really, again, just a novelty, but at least it's there. It also comes with this new gallery called Floating Image. So if I just launch that, it's basically just your image floating by. Um, looks really, really weird. And there it is. So your image just float on this little wood thing. It's not really cool or anything. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not too useful, I guess. Um, it doesn't have pinch to zoom or anything like that. When you get it, it will not have maps installed. You have to install it from the market, and that's actually a good thing because if it came stock, you wouldn't be able to update to maps 4.1.0. You actually get wireless tether as well, and um, you get spare parts, and you get sub setup, which is where you can enable apps to SD and other settings of that sort. Other than that, guys, this is a pretty stock donut ROM, pretty heavily themed. I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the widgets that are themed for my last thing. Um, and with the HTC Clay Remix, everything is already instantly set for you to go. Um, you don't need to do any APNs or anything like that. There's the new power control widget, and the music widget matches that. So just so you guys know, I'm on the latest ENG SPL and the latest radio, and I have my SD card formatted to FAT32 only. So if you guys are having trouble flashing this, then I recommend going to my setup. So let's go ahead and get this ROM on our phone. Just plug in the USB cable to the bottom of the phone. You'll get the flash, so scroll it down and tap USB connected and then hit mount and go to your computer. Alright guys, and now that we're here, let's go ahead and find wherever we downloaded the ROM to. So it's in ROMs and Donut ROMs for me. And we should see the rex 3 mix csdizip We're just going to drag that to the root of our SD card. And that is a 53 point or 53 megabyte file, so definitely not too large, and we're going to let that finish copying over. Alright guys, and now that that's pretty much done, we're just going to safely eject our phone from the computer, and there goes a car alarm. And now we're going to go back to our phone. This is also the stock dialer that you get with the ROM, which is actually really cool. You have the little Android decal in the background with these really, really nice numbers with the actual letters under it. It's a pretty cool dialer that you can actually use. Alright guys, and now that we're back at our phone, let's just go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom and wait for the preparing SD card logo to pop up, and eventually it will go away. And when that happens, we will reboot our phone into recovery, so we'll go ahead and hold down the end call button. Now this ROM does not have a reboot option, so let's just tap power off and hit OK. And we're going to boot our phone back up using home and power, so we'll hold down home and join in with power. And that'll boot us into Amon Ra's latest 1.6.2 recovery. Obviously guys, with any ROM, you do have to be rooted. And again, I'm using the ENG SPL latest radio and a FAT32 formatted SD card. Once we're actually at our Amon Ra recovery image, we're going to do the simple wipe and flash process. Just go ahead and go down to wipe and do a full data wipe. Then we'll jump back, go to flash zip from SD card, and we will flash re3x mix or re3m mix dot um, csdi.zip. Alright guys, oh wow. Alright, when it's finished, go ahead and hit reboot system now and let your phone boot up. And sorry that car alarm just started up right now. Alright guys, and one thing that I want to show you guys is that the lock screen is upside down and backwards. So I can't really demonstrate that, but it is. And it kind of sucks, but it's not really a big problem for me. So I just want to let you guys know that is not a bug with your phone. That is just something with the ROM. Alright guys, and once you finish setting everything you need to set up, It'll take you right to the ROM and you will officially be running the new Super CSDI Remix by HTC Clay. Make sure you guys follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld. And other than that, make sure you rate this video 5 stars, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.